What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Art of a Champion Converse Fast Break High. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet and want to see more reviews just like this one. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Today we're here to talk about Kevin McHale's Fast Break High. This Fast Break High comes as part of the Art of a Champion collection, which means there's details all over the sneaker to pay homage to certain championships. Not only does this sneaker come with a metal championship trophy hang tag, but it also comes in green to match Kevin McHale's Celtics jersey. And the story behind this Fast Break High is that in in game four of the 1984 NBA championships, Kevin McHale clotheslined Kurt Rambis on a breakaway dunk attempt and just proved how hard he was willing to play. Obviously the Celtics went on to win that championship in 1984, but that one play and that one move was one of the most memorable of the entire finals. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Kevin McHale's fast break high. Around the edge of the toe, you've got this dark green leather mudguard. Moving up from the mudguard, you've got this canvas or nylon panel in lighter green. This nylon panel actually continues all the way around the sneaker from the toe to the heel. Moving up on the shoe, you've got this dark green leather panel with metal eyelets. At the base of the laces, you've got this gold metal accent with 1984 etched into it. This shoe comes factory laced with flat white laces. And at the end of the white laces, you've also got gold metal aglets. However, if you're not a fan of the contrast that the white laces provide, it also comes with a pair of dark green laces to match the rest of the upper. The green laces also have gold metal aglets at the end, but the one detail that they add are these 16 gold strokes on the side of the laces. The tongue itself is also covered in that green nylon you find on the rest of the upper. At the top of the tongue, you've got this green patch with the number 16 crossed out in gold and black. The last eyelet at the top of the shoe comes in gold instead of green. Kind of a nice detail. The sock liner of the shoe comes in this premium white leather, which actually feels really nice to the touch, but I've gotta be honest, it's probably gonna be pretty sweaty on feet. On the back of the tongue, you've got another green patch that says no easy buckets, June 6th, 1984. And then rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a green leather insole. The right shoe has the same 16 gold strokes that you found on the green pair of laces, and the left shoe has the words the association printed in gold on the inside of the sneaker. As for fit, the Art of a Champion Converse Fast Break High does seem to fit true to size. Other than some of the leather details on the inside of the shoe, the construction is generally the same as most other Converse Fast Break Highs. However, if you're not sure what size to get, I definitely suggest going into a store and trying a pair on to make sure the sizing is right for you. Moving back on the shoe towards the midfoot, you've got Converse's logo stitched in in white leather. Just above that in one of the shoes, you've got this gold metal hang tag that's in the shape of the NBA Championship trophy. This hang tag can actually be found on every sneaker in the Art of the Champion collection. To be honest, it's actually one of my favorite details. Moving even farther back on the shoe, you've got a dark green leather heel counter. And on the lateral side of both of the sneakers, you've got this gold stroke detail that you found throughout the rest of the shoe debossed into the material. If you've been wondering what the significance behind this number 16 is, it's actually the minimum number of games that you have to win in the playoffs to win a championship trophy. Just above that detail, you've got a plush white leather panel that wraps all the way around the back of the shoe. And then moving to the heel of the sneaker, you've got Converse's logo debossed in gold. Moving down the sneaker, we get to the white one-piece Converse midsole and outsole. The bottom of the shoe is covered in a couple different traction patterns with Converse written on the side. Overall, Kevin McHale's Art of a Champion Converse Fast Break High is actually a really nice looking sneaker. I love the gold details on the shoe, I love the story behind the sneaker, and I also like the fact that it comes in green because I don't actually have too many green sneakers in my collection. If you're looking to grab this pair of Converse Fast Break Highs, they drop on May 17th for $95. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Art of a Champion Converse Fast Break High and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself on May 17th. Thank you again to Nike and Jordan Brand for having me out to the Art of a Champion event and gifting me this pair early. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.